Well, so we got what? Knicks. I mean, sorry, Pacers in Boston, and you got Timberwolves and the Mavs. Is your next that's up. that's right? Yeah. So, so um, uh, I, I I'll tell you this. I'm cheering for the Minnesota. I want Minnesota to win. That's all I want. I just you know? I just want you know Conley to get one. That's all. That's let, 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 let's let's think about this. The last championship of the four major sports for them. That's gonna be the Twins in like '91. Talk about a championship-starved area. I mean, because the Timberwolves never did it, and they were created in the early to mid '90s, right? Um, the Vikings haven't done it. They the last time they were in a Super Bowl was in the '70s. Um, uh, Minnesota Wild, no, and I don't think the North Stars ever really did it either. And if they did, it was you know back in the '80s or. You know, I can't even think of when it would have been. So, um, yeah, so this is Minnesota's best chance. Yeah, the last time a Minnesota team won a championship. Twins in 91? Uh, no, as a basketball team. Oh, as a basketball 19, team. 1953-54 season with the uh, Minneapolis Lakers. Ah, yes. Yeah. So that's the last time the basketball team has won a championship. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a it's a good pull. Uh way back when. Yep. Um, yep. one of those so so you mean one of those Los Angeles Lakers titles is not actually Los Angeles? Three of them are actually Minneapolis. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. Way to go. Mm. All right. And then on the other side of the conference, uh Celtics, Pacers. I think the Celtics are gonna get the job done there. Um I just I, I feel like we're we're getting closer and closer to um th- to the time where we're not at the point yet where the Celtics fold, you know, we're not there yet. So, uh, you know, that's, that's for the finals. That's where they're going to fold. Right. Um, Cause it's more funny that way. Yeah. I mean, I Boston's, get the a job sneak, done. The, Boston's a sneaky good team, but the thing about the Pacers, that I think that people underestimate is how fast that team plays. Yeah. Like they, they gas out every single person. That play. I like I know, the Knicks and then went to game seven, right? But they gassed out the Knicks. I mean, the Knicks had nothing in game seven left in the tank. So um, that's why I'm kind of leaning with you that I, I think the Pacers pulled this out possibly. Oh, no, I, I said the Celtics pulled this oh, out. Well, you should definitely lean on the Pacers pulling this one out. Um, and I think it's going to be Pacers and Timberwolves, to be honest with you. Um, that's going to be fun because I don't know pace versus size at that point. I mean, Pacers have Turner, but – They've really known for just getting up and down the court super fast, almost yeah. like the Suns, but not seven seconds or less. Right. So uh, well. we'll see. Um, it starts tomorrow and basically uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every day for the rest of the uh, conference finals until there, until one team wins it. We're going to have a basketball game every night. Um, so that's something to look forward to and uh, just, you know, get really top tier uh, basketball happening right now. So, so looking forward to that. And then, so now we can go ahead and move on to the next one. It's time to talk about the Golden State Valkyries. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're good now. Okay. <laughs> so the, they, they officially announced the new name and they, they announced it the morning after we recorded last week. Um, so we just missed out on the, uh, you know, getting the, the breaking the, news, the breaking news, the scoop or whatever yeah. on that. But, uh, really exciting news. I love the color scheme. They um, on, on their Instagram, they broke down what the um, the logo actually means. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, they're the 13th WNBA team. So there's like 13 lines. The, the centerpiece looks like a, uh, you know, the tower from the bridge. The It's a V shape. So it looks like a Valkyrie. And um, it's also feathers and like just like yeah, it's like there, there's a lot of really cool. Um, I, I think it's a cool logo. I think it's awesome. Um, marketing is going to be awesome too. Uh, what That's do you it. think? I, I love the logo. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I really do. It's great. But it kind of, and I've been saving this for the show, it kind of reminds me of the Vipers from Dodgeball. <laughs> the, the the purple Cobras, you mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, I understand why you're saying that. Um, but also, no, 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 no. I think it's different enough. Um, I disagree. Uh, 
uh, no, I, I really dig it. I think it's a really cool logo, and I'm really excited to see uh, see the team play next year. And they already have, um, I think they said they passed like in under a week. They're over ten thousand um, season tickets. Uh, Crazy when when you, when the uh, when an ownership who invests in their team decides to get a new team, and it already it's worth more than the A's. Fuck John Fisher. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, the, like the, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I and I, I don't know. Obviously, we we don't know who's gonna be on the team at this point. It's still way too early to know that. Um, you know, we have a whole college season who they're gonna draft. You know, where they'll draft and like what free agents they get. Like how the um, dispersal draft or um, the expansion draft is gonna go. There's still a lot of questions we don't know about how the you know what players end up on this squad. But um, if you do the math. Uh, there's, you know, 12 active players on each team. There's only 13 now WNBA teams. So you're you're talking about 156 uh, total players in the WNBA starting next year. This year, there's only 144. So every single one of these players can absolutely ball, you know? Um, uh, somebody actually put, broke it down to me, down this way, where um, if you were to take the, the NBA, the men's league, and just take just the, the five starters on each team, and then you bunch them down into one league. That's what you're looking at, right, with the WNBA. Right. So you're talking about, like, in theory, you'd have the, the Boston Celtics starters and the New York Knicks starters, and then a couple of Sixers players just thrown in there as well. Um, and that's one team, you know? So, like, just, just uh, conceptually, that's how, like, really – um concentrated all the talent is and so uh, you know it, uh, i think it's good that the wnba is expanding a little bit because you're still limited to 156 of the top players and it, it i'm just I'm, I'm really excited i'm uh, this yeah, is another think... opportunity to see sports uh at chase center and it's probably not going to cost quite as much as the warriors although i'm not saying it's going to be cheap by any means but well um, also they're, they're too grand here there is no development league for the women's. So exactly. expanding the league gives people who may have been on the fringe and just, you know, maybe need a little bit more seasoning. Um, they now possibly have the opportunity to, to land on a roster. Yep. It's like 12 more jobs, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and like, like I said, every single one of these women can ball. Like Caitlin Clark is like, you know, she, in her opening game, she had 20 points, but she was like, she had to work her ass off to get that one. They really made her work for it. And that's going to be every night for her for this rookie season because she came in with the big hype and the big, you know, the big draw. And th 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 these players are not letting it, uh, letting her make it easy on her, you know, whatever the hell I'm yeah. trying to say. Like it's, yeah. it's been very enthralling uh, basketball to start this new WNBA season. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So there we are, uh, Golden State Valkyries. Uh, looking forward to seeing a game next year, and uh, and it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, I don't think we have an image for this. I don't think we got it. Yeah, the so time, you, but you, you were talking about her rookie season. Speaking of somebody else's rookie season, uh, Brandon Pazinski, or AirPods, as uh, he's been coined by some Bay Area pundits here, uh, uh, was named a the NBA All Rookie First Team. That goes along with Chet Holmgren and Victor Wembanyama and uh, the kid in uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah. And so, but yeah, yeah. Great, led the league in charges. Well, well deserved. Uh, yeah, we, like we we said it, you know, back in December or January, whenever he was starting to really get some run, you know, uh, that he's pro like he was definitely a top five rookie, like maybe top three, like you know, a fringe yeah. top three, but he's definitely top five, and to finish fifth on the uh you know the all rookie voting that he's right there kind of right where we thought he would be um yeah. by the end of the year and he absolutely well deserved uh he he played he had a hell of a season man and like you said taking all those charges that is the dirty work man as uh, at a point it, no position. rewards your reward is a band-aid on your eyebrow you know yeah um, he was he led league in charges at like six foot one like yeah. that's that's kind of crazy you're taking some abuse you know um a uh, hell of a season. Uh, Trace Jackson Davis just missed out on making the uh, second team. Yeah. By one vote. I think that all just point. came down to play time. That's yeah, all exactly. I came down to. If, if he had a little bit more play time earlier in the season, yeah. I think he gets there. Um, 
I think but, he's even considered, uh, you know, as a possible, you know, maybe get some first votes too. I honestly do. If he gets more play time, you know, mm-hmm. blocking Victor Wembanyama twice, you yeah. know, uh, Not dunking easy. on Victor Wembanyama as well on the alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, there's definitely, he may have gotten some votes for first, you know? So, but yeah, I definitely think uh, play time did him in there, but Hey, it's okay. Who cares? It's okay. Make some noise next year. Bye.